to share with you how you can uh, easily create a LMS website or LMS platform for online learning material so that you can enroll your students and start uh, teaching online. Selamat datang ke channel saya Kaji Data Online. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share all our videos. We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge. Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara free. First of all, you need to have a domain and also hosting. So I'm just going to give you the example here. So if you do not know and understand um, what is the hosting and domain, you can go to the provider. So I have the example of the provider here. You can just click the link below to purchase the hosting and also a domain. It costs around uh, less than uh, 50 USD uh, per year. So that is very affordable for you. So after you have the um, C panel, uh, sorry, after you have the hosting and domain, you will have the C panel. Okay, C panel. So the C panel is actually the brain of your hosting and also domain. So what you need to do is actually you just log in to your um, C panel. So after logging to your cPanel, okay, this is the example of my cPanel. So I have a file manager, I have a lot of things, but the things that I want to share with you to create your LMS in a split second or in a split in a few minutes is just a simply go to the Softaculous. But before that, usually what I need to do or what I will do is uh, go to the domain first because I need to create a subdomain so that I won't disturb the main domain as you can see here i got already the um, lms domain but for the purpose of this training and tutorial just a quick one i just want to give you example so let's say i'm i'm going to put it as lms okay and then i'm going to create it as lms and automatically the domain is being created but remember this is not the domain this is called subdomain it is actually embarked in the main domain after you have the subdomain, then you can go to your Softaculous and then browse for the apps. So apps installer is all about the script that already available for you to choose which one that you like. Okay, in this case, I'm going to choose the educational and they have a lot of it. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the Moodle first. And then we are going to browse and learn about the other things later on. So you go to the Moodle. And the Moodle are easily to be installed. So you can just click install now and the Moodle will ask you where to choose the installation directory. So in this case, I'm going to use the LMS uh, Moodle 30, for example. Just um, name it, example, um, LMS, LMS um, example. And then you can um, do after this, the changes. And then this is the password, P-A-S-S. W O R D one and a frost topy here, and then you can just click install. After a few minutes, the installation will take place and it is done. The LMS is done, and you are ready to use your model package to enroll your student and to use this to, uh, to use this system. Okay, this is the example. Show the details. Visit the website. Visit websites, and then I'm going to give you some credential because. Um, this is the first time connection uh, for this LMS. So, actually, in a few minutes, my LMS is already um, so you um, setting up your LMS already. You can uh, go to your channel or you can go to your LMS and then you can start to log in. So, um, we are using this credential admin and our password will be p e s s w o r d number one and exclamation mark after that you can log in after you log in then you have the moodle description All right so um this is your lms and you can start to create courses in the site administration and then you can register your site you can enroll the user you can upload uh, your students details you can create a cohort uh, you can make a management you can create a course you can um, do a lot of things so I think uh, that videos I'm going to talk a little bit after uh, this video hopefully you enjoy how to create a simple LMS in a few minutes Hopefully you learned something from this. Please don't forget to subscribe. 
the share and also like this video see you again for the next video on how to use the Moodle as your LMS for your online learning system thank you